Master Gregorio Farin, and uh, I'm playing the Panther Blitz session today uh, with a aim chess challenge. So it should be fun. You'll have some very interesting challenges, random challenges, and uh, I'll try to complete them all. So let's see how it works out. I'll start uh, uh, accepting your challenges. So we start. Uh, with a bishop statue, so I should not move one bishop during the whole game. Uh, I think uh, I should not move the c8 bishop, right? That should be easier for me. So playing some kind of, of French defense might be useful, yeah? Because that bishop is bad anyway. And uh, I just leave it on c8. Right? So I'll de develop the king side first. Probably try to go for some f6 break. Uh, yeah, let's actually play f6. Like, I have to create some counterplay on the king side. And I will also try to follow. YouTube chat and chess 24 chat a little bit. Let's see if it works. So if you have some questions, uh, please ask them there, preferably in the chess 24 chat, I guess. All right, bishop e7. Our castle as well. So the main problem, is it now I need to develop my rook from a8, right? So let's do it this way. Rook b8, then b5 maybe. Yeah, my opponent takes on g6, which is very reasonable. But, uh, now he needs to start developing, I think, no? Okay, b5. I don't really care about his counterplay on the uh, on the king side. Okay, b4. A5. Let's take many times. Yeah, my, my takes before. Well, now I even want a, want a pawn, yeah? It's not much, but it's something. It takes b5. I saw that this doesn't work because of knight c3, right? That's a nasty fork. White has to take on b8, but then I take on e2, and in the end, there's queen c7. Attacking both the rook on b8 uh, and the bishop on c1, I probably win some more material. Well, now I'm pretty sure that I will be able to complete this challenge. 
I do not need the bishop on c8. Let's just imagine there is no bishop there at all. And my opponent resigned. All right. So this change is completed and uh, we get the next one. Oh, the bone cloud. We get the bone cloud immediately, right? Let's see. And I get black. So that's bad news. My opponent does want does not want to move for some reason. I could not move my bishop, my c8 bishop uh, the way it. It's good that he did not open the stream because you could probably use some info there, yeah? I play against the fact that I cannot move it, like I attack my opponent e6 at, e6 at some point, etc., etc. et cetera. All right, my opponent uh, does not make a move, so I just avoid the game and start in u1. Okay, now we get white, get the white pieces. So, and we get the bone cloud, yeah. Okay. Let's even play this kind of stuff with queen e1, king d1. It's just too boring to move the king back to e1, yeah. Yeah, knight c3. Knight d4 would be a nice move now. Yeah, my opponent goes for it. Now obviously I cannot take on d5 because bishop c2 is a checkmate. So I have to play d3. Yeah, e4, e5, uh, queen h5, king e7 is gg. It's better to first select the opponent and then uh, select the, the challenge. Yeah, it makes sense. I agree. Wow, my opponent decides to exchange queens. That's a huge mistake. That's a huge mistake because my king uh, was on d1, yeah? So, Quite weirdly placed. Now I'm I'm just fine. Let's take uh, I don't know and just develop probably. I should be totally fine. Black has a perfectly normal position as well, but objectively speaking, after two moves, I'm just lost with white, yeah? E5, all right, we should do two. Yeah, now we are just playing a normal game, we should see five. Maybe even a4. a4, a5, and bring the, bring the rook to c4. Like rook a4, rook c4, and support it with b3 just in case of something. Yeah, this looks like a plan. And can I can activate my second rook via the e file, yeah? Rook e1, rook e4. I think uh, in, in Germany, maybe, no? Yeah, there should be many languages, I guess. 
like in Spanish as well. But it could not be Spanish because the king started with K as well, yeah? Okay, let's actually pay some attention to what is happening on the board. I should be winning some material now. My rook on g7 is just simply too active. Probably rook g5, f4, rook d5. And then I'll grab the d4 pawn. Yeah, rook d5. We take this one, we just go back probably. Who takes the uh, f7 pawn? Maybe not, but it's just a matter of time. I, I'm i not afraid of e3, I can just simply play bishop c3, I guess. Takes, takes, yeah. Should be five. I don't really want to exchange actually. Maybe I have to. Yeah, I did misplay it a little bit. Now my opponent actually has some chances, but okay. I should have enough extra points here, I think. He's just not too fast enough with his counterplay. And he also ran out of time. All right. So now I'll accept uh, some challenge first and only after that we can choose a challenge. Okay, I'm playing black. So let's see what my opponent make the first move and now we get it demonstrate how to set up and execute a nasty trap wow that's not an easy one not always you get an opportunity to, to set up a nasty trap but we'll try we'll try yeah thanks for the game because part of fan I also have a feeling that I'm exchanging too many pieces. Yeah. Like already exchanging a pair of bishops was a little bit wrong. So I think what could be a trap here? If I can move my pawn to a4 at some point, maybe, and then just uh, leave it unprotected. And he'll not be able to take it because of some trick uh, in the center, let's say. I don't know. I also have to say that I'm playing against quite a decent opponent, yeah? 24, 74. It's quite a high rating, so. This won't be an easy challenge for sure. Okay, let's play queen e7, bishop d7 first, and then let's see. I mean, I can play bishop d7 and then move the rook from a8, but I'm pretty sure that my opponent will not take uh, the pawn on a4 there. So it's just, I can't, cannot even call it a trap, yeah? I mean, just some kind of one move tactics. So I need to find something more interesting. And for that reason, to actually keep the position closed. Uh, maybe it will be easier to find some tricks. Objectively speaking, the move is just bad, yeah? 
from, from a strategic point of view, you would not really like to play it like this. Do I want to take only four? I don't know. I mean, oh, well, now I have some kind of a trick, maybe. Yeah, let's go back and maybe knight b3 at some point. But then, I mean, he can just take one time and obviously he will not recapture with his queen. I was I'm a little bit afraid that my opponent will run out of time by the time I create this trap. Okay, f5. Shape. Oh, now I'm doing more as fine. But I am really afraid that uh, my opponent will run out of time very soon. All right. I think my knight on e5 is not doing anything at all. So I have to move it back. Knight f1 is a good move. The knight is going to g3. It's actually a very good move. Okay, g4, let's attack. All right, I mean, this is not a trap, obviously. I don't know. Can you call this a trap? Like I play d5, I ask him to take on d4 and then to take on e5 and then play d4. It just feels like too easy for a trap, yeah? Just too easy. So guys in the chat, would you call it a trap or not? The e5 move? If yes, then I'll mark this change completed. If not, I'll just uh, get the next one, I guess. Okay, let's take 395. Okay, my opponent plundered uh, his queen. I don't know. I don't uh, feel like that was really a trap there. Yeah, thanks for the game. So, I don't know. Uh, trap master, I should have created a nasty trap. Yeah. Was E5 a trap? Like. Uh, E5, uh, D takes E5, D4. Just felt a little bit too obvious, no? <laughs> at our level, threatening a piece is a threat. Okay, right, so let's, let's mark it completed to get to the next challenge. Would I accept three plus two challenges? I guess preferably no increment, yeah? Like we already started uh, the, the bunter bits a bit later than we were supposed to. So let's just try to get as many games uh, in as possible. Okay, make three pre moves in a row. That's an easy one. I don't know. Yeah. I can make many more, I guess. That's already three, yeah? E6, Bishop 75. So we are good. I can mark the change completed. Oh, and I mouse slipped immediately. Yeah? Instead of castling, 
I played king of eight. Yeah, of course you had a great position at some point. It just I had I really had to think about the challenge. You had a very solid position and it was very difficult to find the weakness there. Well, King of Eight was an unfortunate mouse leap. Actually, I'm curious if there is another change, like uh, make a castling like this. Okay, now my opponent wants to take on G6. Huh? Well, that's not nice of him. I'll move my knight back. Now I think F4 is very strong. Yeah, it's exactly what he does. I do not like my position at all. Let's play B4 maybe. And try to get control over the white squares somehow. I'm not sure about f5 at all because f5 it can react with g5, right? And like I'm qu quite solid on on the king side. Yeah, now I just go back to d6 and try to apply more pressure on the e5 knight. Maybe even sacrifice an exchange there at some point. Or maybe I can simply play. Okay, before I play a6, I do not want to calculate anything. My position is still quite bad, but I, I have some hope. What my opponent should be looking for here is to open up this, the center with e4. Just feels like his minority attack plan uh, on the queen side is just a way to throw. Yeah, like he should have prevented this knight d7 move. This knight d7 in, I'm successfully changing some pieces and uh, it's definitely in my favor. Now the e3 pawn is weak. And uh, let's say after he exchanges uh, the bishops on d6, I have uh, some tricks with knight g4, attacking both h2 and e3. So instead of going for this b4, okay, b1, he should just, he should have played e4, I guess, right away, or maybe rook a e1 first. And he should be much, much better. Yeah, f6 uh, is probably the only try right has here. I do not even want to take it. But maybe I should be scared. No? Am I scared? Uh, probably not. King H8, G3, Knight E3. Yeah, uh, I don't think he'll be able to bring his queen to H5. It's pretty far away. I would exchange all the pieces meanwhile. Bishop g4, maybe. Oh, queen e6. Yeah, queen e6 is more precise. And now we exchange uh, the queens. I bring the king in. I'll take uh, the f6 pawn eventually and just uh, game over. Yeah? All right. Five takes takes. All right, and that's uh, game over, and we can mark this uh, challenge as completed as well. Get the next one. Play a bullet game with your non-dominant hand. Well, I don't think I should just skip this one, yeah? 
because first of all, there are just no challenges, uh, no bullet challenges. Yeah, let's just skip it. Okay, sacrifice your queen in the first uh, 15 moves. Okay, let's see who is uh, the lucky one who get my queen. Yeah, now there are some, some bully challenges, yeah. I, I don't think I'll be able to, to play a bullet game with my left hand. It's going to be crazy, no? How do I sacrifice my queen here? Now let's uh, go for some queen's gambit declined, huh? and then play some g4. At some point. I, I think I completed uh, two challenges in one, yeah? in one game, accidentally. Okay, let's play h4. Let's go for the h4. Thing. I don't know how I will sacrifice my queen here, but... Uh, at least we are getting somewhere. We need our opponent's king to be weak to sacrifice uh, the queen for some compensation at least. Right? So that's uh, that's the plan. It's move eight. I have uh, seven more moves. Cannot say it looks very promising, but it is what it is. Okay, I guess g4 is my next move. Five more moves now. So it's g4 and g5. Then two random moves, and then queen sacrifice, right? Uh, that sounds bad. Yeah, it sounds very bad. I think I already made a huge mistake. I, I exchanged his uh, f6 knight. That should have been the piece I should sacrifice my queen for. Yeah? Whoa, g5. Well, I think I'm back into the game, yeah? I'm, I'm back into the challenge. Okay, two more moves, two more moves. Uh, probably not enough, yeah? To get a decent queen sacrifice. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have to take on f5 now, yes? it's like the only ch chance. And then take on f8, Don't take on e8, I mean. Yeah, I have to go for it. I have to go for it, it's exactly move, uh, move 15. It's definitely not enough compensation, but I think I should be able to create some threats against his king. Let's just decide how we're going to do it. Rook G1, maybe? Put some pressure on G5. All I need to do is to bring my knight, my C3 knight uh, closer. Yeah, D5, maybe? Rookie eight checks could be in. Whoa, whoa, he takes on d5. I think that's a huge mistake. Like, even objectively, I might be more or less okay now. Because all my pieces are in the game now. So it just might be enough to checkmate him. Yeah, I take on g5. Uh, 
Uh, rook e7 is a move. Uh, bishop takes f5 is a move. No, bishop takes f5 probably is not great. All right, I need to find a checkmate pattern now. Probably just rook, rook e7 first, and then I take on f5. Oh, my rook, my g5 rook is hanging, so I have to play uh, rook h5. Yeah. Yeah, because if I take on f5, he had to queen c1, queen takes g5, winning the game. Okay, bishop e6. Uh, what is this? Okay, h8, bishop g8. Uh, so how there is no checkmate? Okay, that means that I would just play rook c7 first. Now, okay, h8 is a real threat. Yeah, we take on f5. At least I can take on c5, but there is also bishop uh, h7. Though. Wow, we got the queen back. We got the queen back, and uh, now I'm quite confident. Now I'm quite confident. Don't think my opponent will be able to flag me. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good for you. Managed to, to win the game. Okay, let's see what are the other challenges we have. Uh, let's play against a really strong opponent. I do not want to play this challenge. Give me another one. Okay, imitate uh, Mikhail Tau. So we should play, we should go for some sacrifices. And obviously, the Sicilian bow, wow, Bishop B5. Come on, man. You should let me play like Michael Tau. And you're playing the Bishop D5 this evening. That's not fair. That's not fair. Let's put it this way. So what do I do now? E5, H6, uh, E6. I need to play E6. Knight E6. But we're getting some kind of a very boring game. Very, very boring game. Don't really like it. Yeah. <laughs> like I can already, already mark the change in completed. I do not know how to play for a win against this bishop b5 Sicilian. I had it against Kayak in, in the World Cup when I lost my first game with White and uh, had to try to play for a win in the second game. And he, he, he played his bishop b5 check. And like by move 20, we did exchange almost all the pieces. But maybe maybe we can just imitate uh, Mikhail Tal's uh, uh, late career, yeah? When he became a very solid player, like he was not losing uh, any games, yeah? So, <laughs> just make a solid draw, yeah? A solid quick draw by, like, uh, by, by offering it right now, yeah? Okay, so what do we do now? I would really like uh, to play queen c7, but said there is bishop f4. Quite an annoying move. Bishop f4, bishop f2, king takes f2, knight g4, knight takes g4, queen f takes f4, and queen f3 in the end, yeah. I don't know, play h6 just to prevent bishop g5 for a moment. Yeah, yeah, h6, I guess, is what I should do. I'm getting a little bit low on time, by the way. I don't know. I spent 56 seconds on this move. It's a little bit too much for a blitz game. <laughs> 
for a blitz game is no increment. I mean, it's unacceptable. Okay, 94, 95 maybe. I need to play faster. I really need to play faster. Now we see four might be a big problem. I think it is a huge problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this challenge is just incomplete. I'm also playing bad chess, so it's uh, also not in his style. So look at G1, Bishop C6. Somehow it survived this stage of the game, yeah? With no losses. Like material wise, we are doing okay. The position is probably still slightly worse, but it's not that bad as it was uh, a few moves ago. Rook E8 is an awful move, probably. Yeah? Maybe he should have played Queen F4 or something. Okay, now we are good, I think. Let's show some endgame technique. A little bit low on time, but uh, otherwise we're doing fine. It's not a great move. Now I should be getting some chances. I can even go into on endgame probably, yeah? G4 first. I don't know. This pawn endgame looks really good for me. Really good. Wait, what did I just do? Am I still fine somehow? Yeah, that's just crazy. I did not calculate this stuff, by the way. That I have the, the king d6 move there at the time and time to bring the king back. I just didn't pay attention to that. Yeah, we mark this uh, as in completed and get another one yeah i do not want to play a bullet game okay win the game using the only the first minute of my of the time this should be manageable yeah Our style definitely in the end so yeah okay i need to be fast dangerous right Three minutes against one. Come on. I can mouse mouse leaves the thing. Huh? Just so unused to all the pre moves on uh, on this website. It's crazy. Oh, bishop g6 is a huge threat now. Yeah? 25. Actually, I'm playing too fast. Uh, I can slow down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening with me today. Like uh, during this 40 minutes, uh, I made more mouse slips uh, than for the past week, probably. Yeah, my opponent also decided that he should uh, keep it up and play a, a bullet game against me. Bro, well, what the hell am I doing there? A6, it's not a good move. It's not a good, good move. 23 seconds left. 
I mean, I have a, a really great position now, but might not have enough time to win it. D3, D2 next? Because he cannot take on D4, obviously, two times because of the back rank checkmate. Yeah, D2. G4, I have D2 anyway. Now D2, Bishop, C2. I'm winning a lot of material there. Or maybe Rook E1 is more precise, yeah? It starts with Rook E1 first. Twenty seconds uh, is probably manageable. Okay, he's going for some tricks. Like Bishop C2, Knight D5. No, Knight D5 does not work. What's his plan then? I don't know. I guess he re realized that uh, my challenge is uh, to win this game in one minute and he's trying to play fa as fast as possible. I don't know. Rook C3 next. 13 seconds. I do not know how to pre-move. Whoa, that's a checkmate. 50 seconds. We had 10 seconds left even, yeah? That's not bad, not bad. Make at least three sacrifices during the game. Holy smokes, three sacrifices. Yeah, thanks for the game, Dangerous, right? And if I don't want to, <laughs> to, to even sacrifice once, I'm, I'm sacrificing the C4 pawn first, first of all. I already sacrificed my C4 pawn. Yeah, but my opponent just does not want to take it. I guess as long as he does not accept it, it's not a sacrifice, no? I just do not know how, how does it come. How does it count? Is this a pawn sacrifice? I don't know. I think it is, no? Okay, knight takes e4. Wait, I mean, I just sacrificed it a pawn. You could take on e4 with your knight. Rook takes e4, bishop g5, but now you just lose a piece. That's like, this challenge is definitely is <laughs> incomplete. I don't know, I will have to play knight e6 next just to sacrifice some pieces back, yeah? Actually, that makes sense. Maybe my tactics should be different, yeah? First, I need to win some material, and then I need to sacrifice it back, yeah? I'm just sack a queen. And now there is a checkmate on h7. I don't know, I mean... <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> Should I keep sacrificing now? Okay, let's see. Since there is a checkmate on each seven, we can sacrifice some stuff. We can sacrifice it like this. All right, now there is like no way to sacrifice. Yeah? I messed up. I messed up. Knight e6, knight takes e6 was just 
too great of a move. Okay, I cannot give the checkmate on HL, so let's keep on keep on playing. No, I do want to complete the challenge. I do want to complete the challenge. Okay, my opponent uh, <laughs> really wants to get checkmated there, yeah? Like, I don't know what's happening. Is Agnus Pinat uh, in German? And then he just resigned. And he just resigned. Why do you resign here, man? You can play queen e5, and you're still fine. You're, you're, in fact, you're actually better. OK, I don't know. I don't really want to mark it as completed. Every time you give a check to your opponent, you should honestly respond to a question in the chat. Holy smokes. I guess I should not uh, <laughs> give any checks. Just a check, just a final checkmate. But prepare your questions, chat. Prepare your questions. Even though it will be very difficult to give any checks anytime soon. At least in the next, I don't know, 10, 15 moves. I will not answer them yet, you know? <laughs> So just keep it, keep them there. I'll, I'll have to answer like five of them when I give a checkmate, yeah? Okay. They're going for, for some kind of dark square domination here. Okay, knight b6. <laughs> yeah, indeed, that's such an ugly position. That's such an ugly position. A4. Man, just let me put the pawn on a5. Just let me do it, please. Just let me do it, please. Take on d6, then play queen b8 and exchange those queen on d6. No, man. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> that's a nice position. <laughs> Guys, I think I think there should be a moment of silence for Black C8 Bishop. I think Anish said it once, yeah? The confession booth in St. Louis, I, I guess. Like, like something like, Let's start with a moment of silence for for Levon's uh, C8 bishop. So, I think uh, what he said said there applies perfectly to this position, yeah. <laughs> because here we can also have a moment of silence for Black's queen on a7 and Black's rook on a8. That's like three in one.
Yeah, it's like the ugliest position of the chat of the century. Black has nice white square control, indeed. Indeed. What should I do? You should have some fun here, right? You should have some fun. But you know, guys, that's exactly the position that you would like to have uh, uh, the previous challenge in, yeah? Sacrifices. Like, if you remove my rook from E1, I think I'm still completely winning. Like, just remove my rook from E1 right now. It's still winning. I will put my second rook on C7. Like, you will not be able to do anything. I mean, I can still sack in this game, but we have another challenge, yeah? Whoa, Black has such a beautiful position, so many moves. I don't know, I like queen f6 as a move here. Yeah, that's a nice move. It's a nice move. That's a check. So what was the first uh, question? What's my favorite opening? Uh, I think the real open. One of the best for sure. Okay, now I don't really want to give any any checks. My next check will be checkmate. All right, and that's that's it. That's it. Who is my favorite chess player from history? Uh, I don't know. Country say I have many favorite players, but I don't know. Kasparov. Let's go with Kasparov. Okay. Don't castle during the whole game. <laughs> That's what I was doing, like this black. Is my king of eight move, yeah? It's not interesting. It's the easiest challenge ever. It's the easiest change ever. Yeah, it's tricky with those challenges. You never know. I do not want to take on c3. Uh, and since we are not castling, we can actually afford to play h5 normally. Like, why not? We'll keep the king uh, on e8. We'll be quite happy about it. f3 was a strange move. Okay, we take. Probably we don't take a second time, just d6, 97. But I, it feels like this challenge should sound to something like castle on move 25 or something, or something along those lines. Would be much more interesting, no? Because that would mean that I cannot move my king from e8, and that would mean that I would could 
would not be able to move at least one of my rooks. And what we get now is just some kind of a normal position. My king is totally safe on f7. I'm not worried about it at all. What we are going, what we are going to do next is uh, h3 maybe. Yeah, let's play h3. And his knight on f2 is simply overloaded. Like he defends on uh, d3 and he cannot take uh, on h3 at the same time. Okay, this was a, a very easy change. Well, to be together. Okay, don't move one knight during the whole game. Why did I do that? I just accepted the uh, change from 2600 prayer, and uh, the change is not to move uh, one of the knights. Uh, this, is, this is quite a bad start. <laughs> That's quite a bad start. I guess we are not moving the b8 knight. I don't know, bishop is seven. How do I bring the rook into the game? My rook is stuck on a8. Yeah, e5. Actually, I actually welcome e5 as a move. Because now it will be easier. Whoa, it will be much easier to bring the rook from a8. So we, just, we will just play rook a7. And yeah, we do not really need the knight. Okay, my opponent prepares c4. Can we stop it? Uh, not really. So I will not even try. Rook a7 anyway. C4 I'll just take. Takes, uh, let's take on f3, even though that's, uh, that's not the right approach, yeah? Like I'm exchanging pieces. And I'm in fact just a piece down, yeah? All right, e6. I need to force my opponent to take on b8 somehow. What was his plan? Bishop before, bishop before I can sacrifice in exchange. I'm very happy about it. The bishop on d4 is a monster, yeah? That's still basically the rook down, yeah? because of the knight on b8, but it's not a big deal. Queen e4, rook d8. Queen g6. Yeah, how, like, how do I win now, being a rook down? Please take it. Please take uh, that knight. Oh, I have a plan. I have a plan. I just want to sacrifice uh, some material back. Yeah. So the plan is rook b7, rook d7. No, man, you, you should take on b8, come on. Then bishop takes f2, rook takes d1, and like I have three pawns for a piece. So I guess the guy is watching the stream, yeah? 
the guy is watching the stream and he knows about my challenge. Then we are in trouble, guys. Then we are in trouble. Like I cannot really do anything here. It's just so bad. H5 next, hoping for some back rank checkmate. I don't know. Effortlessly trying to cover all the big squares. I don't know. E5. Um, maybe I should, I should just try to flag him here. Yeah? What is that? That's not uh, the most obvious move in the position. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Queen E6. Takes is it all right? D4 maybe now. Okay. I guess I tricked him. Yeah, I did trick him. Now you have to take on D8. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, that was a tough one. <laughs> Play against, playing against 2600 uh, without a knight on D8. But I did win it. I did win it. Right, guys, I think I would accept like two more changes. Uh, and I'll be done for the day. What's the next one? Play the tri Triton. So I should play E5 followed by A5 and H5. Oh my God. And the man chooses the king's game, it yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. Can I resign immediately? Can I just resign right now, right here? Oh, now what do I do? <laughs> At least, at least, right now we are a pawn up, a pawn up for nothing. Basically for nothing. We just weaken our position a little bit, yeah? This h5 and a5, so it's, it's not a big deal. So my plan is to force him to take on b5 but instead of it i forced him to take on f7 uh, i don't know that's probably quite bad for me anyway but uh, i always welcome some sacrifices from my opponent especially when i start the game with e5 a5 and h5 and now and now it can Maybe even make some use of those moves. So, White's idea is to play knight g6 at some point, right? And I need to cover that square. So, like rook a6 could be useful at some point. It's not great right now, I guess, because of knight f7, but uh, maybe a few moves later. So, let's play bishop d6. First, trying to pin him. Then actually I'll just go for some normal development with knight f6 or something. Yeah, knight f6, let's finish the development. And I would really like to move my pawn from h5 back to h7. That's like uh, my dream, yeah, in this position. That's a dream. Does 
work? Probably not, yeah? What did I just do? I can take on c6 and play e5. It's not looking good for me. It's not looking good for me. Yeah, he can just win a, a piece back immediately. I cannot even castle. I tried to castle, yeah, you know? Like after e4, e5, I tried to castle with black. Interesting. But for some reason, it didn't work. And I checked the notation, and uh, I realized that I had to take uh, the knight on f7 a few moves ago. And in the end, you know, guys, what we got is some kind of a Ber Berlin endgame. That's like the structure is very, very close. Like you get, you get this four against three on the queen side. And, uh, white has an extra pawn on the king side. Yeah, that's funny. Now I think here it should be already in in, in my favor. Wow. It just uh, the quality of our bishops is different. Yeah, my bishop on e six is much much better, and I have some chances for counterplay on the queen side. Like I can't push my pawns. That's basically what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I don't really care about that one. I can just defend it, bishop f5. Then I put my king on e6. Yeah, then I bring my, my rook in. Bishop g4 maybe was not the most precise, but OK. Yeah, like right now you can see how passive his bishop on f4 is, yeah? Not doing anything, and I have a passed pawn on the queen side. It's basically just GG. A2, stake, I don't know. And bring the king to b2, let's say. It's the simplest. The simplest, too, and I will take everything. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. I think I won all my games today, right? And what's the next challenge? Uh, Avoid your opponent's castle and win the game. Oh no. Oh no. Do I just go bishop takes f7 here? Uh, because I am really scared that like, he'll play e6 next move. So all I need to do now is just to win this game. The task is easy. So easy, guys. Yeah, just a piece down. But we have some hope. OK, B3. I think bishop c4 and move 2 was uh, the key idea in this challenge. It was very important to sacrifice as early as possible. Are we going for some kind of dark square domination again? Like, uh, it's looking a little bit like that again. A little bit. What is this? I can just take my knight on g5 is defended, man. That's the knight on e4. 
I have the knight on e4. Okay, knight f6. Oh, let's just take on f8 first and then knight f6. This should be game over somehow. I don't see it yet, but uh, okay. My opponent blundered bishop f6. Obviously, king e8 was uh, the only move there. All right, this was a very easy challenge. <laughs> Actually, I don't know, it's marked as five stars yeah five stars <laughs> but it felt very easy okay let's go for the last challenge of today the last game do you want a strong opponent let's go with a strong opponent he's 2740 Knights against bishops. Whoa, that's nice. That's really nice. Should exchange my bishops. So this means that we should go for some bishop b5 Sicilian. Right, knight c3. a6, come on, come on. What do I do now? It's looking very improbable that I will exchange my uh, <laughs> F1 bishop, now G2 bishop, for his knight. I will exchange the C1 bishop on F6, I guess. But with the other bishop, it will be very difficult. And I also need to create a favorable position after all. Okay, we don't complete this challenge. It's too much. The funny thing is that like bishop g7, bishop g5, but if my opponent watches the stream, he will just play f6 or queen b6, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just don't let me exchange even one bishop. And now he plays uh, knight of six. Okay, go for for knight for this knight g4 move now. All right, good man. He's helping me a little bit now. Okay, so we have one bishop down, and we need we need to exchange another one. How do we exchange another one without exchanging uh, our knights? We can do it by playing knight d2, maybe. I really need to do some preparation for it, like king h2, f4, and then push e5 at some point. Okay, he plays e5. Uh, that's kind of good news for me because he's trying to close down the position. Yeah? And I should definitely welcome it. Okay, rook a8, uh, let's take on b5 maybe. And now we'll have to make some big decisions very soon. First of all, I need to stop f5 somehow. Of course, it opens up my g2 bishop, but I cannot really exchange it on c6. I'll just get mated along that diagonal. So I need to find another way to exchange it. So maybe just improve uh, a little bit on the king side first. Oh, another plan could be bishop f3, bishop d1, bishop b3. Like obviously all, 
all my prey is based on the fact that I want to exchange uh, my bishop. Okay, it's just impossible. Yeah. Now it's just impossible. I guess I should just start playing chess. Yeah, I mean, I'm not at time to exchange it. Let's play chess. Okay, okay, if we failed, now let's try to win this game. What a what an awful position, yeah. What an awful position. Can I make this move maybe? Bishop f3 or knight e4. Oh, I have no time. Yeah. I have no time. I can also play queen e4. Queen e4 actually looked really good. Yeah, queen e4 was very good. Like unexpectedly good. Okay, he wandered bishop h5. Now we are fine. Now we are fine. F3. Let's shut down this diagonal just in case. So we don't wander a checkmate on g2. D5, I don't know. Oh, I have no time. I forgot again. I forgot again that I have no time. They flag my opponent somehow. Oh, that's will be a draw, yeah. That will be a draw. All right. We are finishing the stream with a draw, guys. I couldn't win them, them all. That was just a crazy time scramble, yeah. That was a crazy time scramble. I was down like five seconds, yeah. Uh, when we got uh, very low on time. But in the end, it was me who flagged him. I had just had some bad pre moves. Should not have uh, given up my rook at that 3 death. Yeah. Could have won this game e quite easily. All right, guys. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the show. Yeah. It was a lot of fun for me at least uh, i really liked those challenges and, uh, yeah uh, i wish you all the best uh, uh, and i hope to see you all next time bye bye i'm ahead of the game Remember who am I? I'm a boss and I'm honestly up my rocket.